just texted me that she's gonna be here super soon. So that's the first paper. Look at Brie. It's my head. Yeah, tell her to come in. You can open the door. My mom's having a coffee. Hi. Hi. Hey. You can come in. How are you? Hi. Good. Keep going. Yes. Yeah. Come on in. Welcome. That's not the way it goes. I have to wait till I can. Very snowy here in Canada, um, but the weather isn't that bad. I love that pillow so Which much. Pillow? The cat? Obviously. Or the Poe pillow. <laughs> I have a pillow of him too. People get scared of that. Oh my god. There's one in the background of my videos mm -hmm. and they're like, what is that? It's scaring me. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Julia's channel. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating too. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> So we just have and some basic pain. questions, so just people can get to know you, you know? You don't have to answer anything you don't want to, I'll cut it out, it's all good. Okay. Okay. You pitch your channel with someone. If like, you saw someone on the street and you're like, hey, I have a YouTube channel, how would you pitch it? I would say that my YouTube channel focuses on story more than anything. I look at movies and books and kind of discuss story structure and analyze that so the focus is definitely more on storytelling in general and how we can become better storytellers ask you more questions are you thrilled i am and psyched out of my mind i'm ready your top three favorite books of 2017 Top three favorite books of 2017. I think one of my favorites, which really took me by surprise, was Unbroken by Lauren Hillenbrand. She was the author who wrote Seabiscuit. She writes nonfiction books, and I don't read a lot of nonfiction, which is why I was so surprised that I like this novel, or not a novel, this book, book. Yeah. Um, so much. It is the story of Louis Zamperini. It is a true story, and it talks about his life. He was an Olympic runner, and he joined when World War II happened. Uh, he was American and he joined the American Air Force and a lot of things happened to him and it's just one of the most insanely inspiring stories and it really goes into a lot of depth in not only before the war, during the war, but also after the war and some of the effects that that had on his life. It's just really interesting and captivating and well written. It's really good. I would highly recommend it. It's yeah. especially if you don't read a lot of nonfiction but mm -hmm. want to like give it a try. I it was easy to read. It took a while because um, it's not one of those like you just fly through yeah, it. Yeah. Um, but it was very very well done. So that was one of them. Um, fun one was The Martian. Um, I saw the movie first before I read the book, but the book was just really fun. Like that, his voice is hilarious, like he's a very funny guy, mm -hmm. very sarcastic, it's a light, easy read. I flew through it, enjoyed it a lot, so yeah, that one, that one was good. Um, and then I think I read the, ooh, I did, I read the Red Rising series in January of 2017. 
I think I read, I started Red Rising in December of 2016, but <laughs> it's it fine. counts, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, so Golden Sun, which is the second book in the Red Rising series, because that book is fire, so that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This might be a weird question, but you want to be an author someday. Yes. And if you had to choose a publishing company to publish your book, Ooh. who would you choose? <laughs> like Harper, Simon... <laughs> Like, I don't know. That's a weird question, but... That's hard, because that, yeah. I feel like I haven't researched that enough to, like, say 100%, yeah. but I feel like, okay, I feel like maybe Harper, because a lot of books that I like are published by oh, them, yeah. but there's also a lot of books that I don't like that are published by them. It's, like, kind of a mixed mm -hmm. bag, but they do have a lot of books that I like that are, you know, published yeah. by them. So I, maybe, maybe Harper. Harper. Yeah, so now I'm like always interested in like publishing companies. I don't know why. But I've been actually like working with more publishing companies. I'm always like researching them. Yeah. So like now I like I never really used to care who a book was published by. Like I don't yeah. really care. But like now I'm like, oh, I didn't know this one was published by yeah. Harper or whatever. I don't know. I find it do you do you think you might go into publishing? Like is that something you're interested in or I think it's cool. Yeah. And it would definitely be something that I'm you know passionate about. Yeah. 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 I could see you being good at that. I've known you for two seconds, but it's fine. <laughs> You've seen a few of my videos. I've seen I'm like multiple. maybe just five seconds. <laughs> 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 Me. I, Watch this part of it. She's all right. I'll text her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I love how I wrote the same question twice, but just, just phrased it differently. It's fine. <laughs> Three random reading habits. Which yeah, really like, need. I don't know. Okay, so, like, for example, myself, it would be, I never really use, like, expensive bookmarks or, like, real bookmarks. Oh, yeah. Like, I use, like, a piece of paper. Tags. Or... Clothing tags. Because they're, I always, I never... <laughs> That's one. I never, whenever I buy new clothing, I actually am so lame and just never do, like, <laughs> take the, yeah, it's like three steps to a garbage can, and I, but instead I just put it on either my bookshelves or my dresser or something. Okay. So I just have, like, a series of, like, just, like, stacks of tags. That's cool. And they're great bookmarks. <laughs> so. I just use those, like, free book depository ones all the mm. time. Like, I have such nice bookmarks. Like, look at this one. These ones oh move. Oh my gosh. You have a collection. Yeah, I have two drawers. I just lose them look, instantly. Look, <gasps> look how cute that is. It's so cute. Focus. Focus. There we go. Look how cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. Those. That's so cute. And it's a ruler. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Another one. <laughs> look, this one's cute. They're like licking each other. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Indigo ones that they slide into your book when you buy mm. something. And they're like here. I just lose bookmarks too fast is the problem. I lose them instantly. They're so, gone. Sometimes I leave them in a, the back of the book mm. and then I'll put it back on my shelf or something and then later for some reason I pick it up again to like show it in a, a video and then I'm like oh. I wonder how many of these have bookmarks in them. Another one that I have is I don't mm. like sitting in chairs but I also don't like lying down. So you stand. I don't stand because <laughs> I'm lazy. So <laughs> I Did just you imagine someone like in the middle of their room? Yeah, just like standing by the window. <laughs> no. Instead, I read in my bed in like a ball against the wall. I'm like leaning against the wall. That's like my favorite spot. It's just okay. like because like my bed is in a corner and where the two walls meet, there's just oh, like okay, a little yeah. nook. And so I'll just like cozy myself in there with my blanket and that's where I read especially because it's like against a window so there's like natural the light, light. It's, yeah it's the perfect spot but I just don't like chairs that much so <laughs> I have a thing against chairs I, I have beef with chairs so okay I, oh, I so did you probably hate your stool yeah how <laughs> dare you place me on this <laughs> would you prefer to stand we'll just we'll just make the tripod really <laughs> I'll just kneel I'll squat <laughs> isn't weird at all I just like tea with books Tea and books is a good combo. Books. Wait, did you buy those cute mugs from Indigo? No. They're so cute. Have you seen all their cute mugs? I don't know. We, we have a collection of all the like Starbucks mugs that Ooh. have like locations on them. That's So bougie. we have like, right? We have like the, <laughs> <laughs> we have Toronto, we have Calgary, we have like a couple of the US cities. We have a couple, we have like London, Paris, Newton, some of the other ones. And then we have, I think we have a few Indigo ones. Um, 
But no, we have mugs from like everywhere. We, we're a mug family. That's cool. As you can see, yeah. I have a lot of mugs. We have a drawer. lot of mugs. <laughs> Julia has a collection. She has endless, every, endless mugs. Every time I collab with someone, they're like, you have a collection of this. Like last time when my friend came over, she's like, she has a lot of stickers. <laughs> Do like, you? <laughs> I like stationery. I love stationery. We are going to bond over you. Whenever you come to Toronto, I'll be like, girl, let's go to, let's go to Muji. Mm -hmm. So uh, get some more stationery. <laughs> Why do I own the whole store, right? Like all the pens. I, mean, I love Muji pens. They're so I good. I use them for school all the time. They're so good. And like the fact that they have like different, like tip sizes and the colors, like the consistency is just so good. It flows so naturally. There's one thing though that I find the sometimes the back of it gets unscrewed a little bit and like it pops in. Yeah, no, like the yeah that or like the little tip, like yeah, you'll unscrew and then you have to tighten it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that before. That's happened. But like I have one of those ones where like you can insert different colors in it, oh, and it has like yeah. I have one of those and. I always run out of the black ink because I go, just go through yeah. it really fast. And then, because I also use them for school because yeah. like I like it. It's like fun to write notes with those. Yeah. yeah. And I can tell that these... This is messy, actually. Well, no, but those look like Muji pens. Because it's very... <laughs> they look like Muji pens. Looks... This is where it can be messy. Oh, by the way, love your... your uh... I can't speak words. Your videos with the... Oh, the bullet journal. Yeah, yeah. that's over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't speak words, Julia. It's okay. You're going to need to fill in the blanks, Julia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but I remember when we went to the signing, I yeah. went into the Muji in Yorkdale, mm. and I went in there, and I'm like, I was looking for those refills for the my black pen, and like yeah. they didn't have any. They're like, we're sold out, and like I was devastated. Like That was the worst day of my life. Yeah. I didn't even know they had a Muji in there. Yeah, they do. It's like hiding at the back. Oh. Like, it's like that other side that usually is closed. They have one there. Okay. Because, yeah, I usually go to the one across from the Eden Center. Yeah, I go, I usually... But they just change locations to, like, a few doors down, and I'm like, ugh. Like, like malls. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like malls. Is it the people, or the shopping, or... Like or just the environment. Just um, there's something about malls. Like I don't mind shopping if it's like boutiques. Even then, I'm not like a huge shopper. You know, I'm not like wild about it. But <laughs> what he said, wild again. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't call me out on this. I would much rather just be ignorant to the amount that I say it because now I'm gonna notice it when I say it. It's gonna okay. be horrible. It's okay. Sorry. Thanks, Julia. Oh. God. Um. But yeah, no, I like all of it. Like just everything about malls. <laughs> oh, now you're not gonna drink. Oh, look how cute. Very cute. I'm such a mom to my cat. Like I'll send people photos of my cat all the time. Yeah, that's how you gotta live. Cats deserve. Every, yeah, every bit of love. Like, I go out for lunch at school and there's a pet store nearby, so I'll buy him a toy to bring it home to him. And then my, one of my friends was just like, why, why isn't my mom like you? Like, why doesn't she bring me home things? Like, when I get home, like, and I'm like, or why doesn't she greet me nicely at the door? And then there's me and I'm like, he was so excited. And he, he, I love coming home and he's there. He's so, so cute. Nice. My dog is like crazy. Yeah, she is, like, yeah, she has like, high key anxiety. She's just gotten crazy in her old age. So she spends most of the time like outside. Okay. Um because she just doesn't like spending time with people that much anymore. Me. Um so yeah. Um but she, it's so nice because then when you like come up to the house she like greets you and she's like hi and I'm like oh hi. hi. Especially when I come home and I'm like mad which is like the majority of the time. Um he's just like meowing at me. So I'm like hello. <laughs> Anticipate.